So really quick, I'm going to go over my WrestleMania match card. Who I want to see at WrestleMania. I won't tell you how these would end or how these would build up. I like to make it very minimalistic. Because I feel that's quite efficient. Uh, I won't also tell you the results of the matchups. I think I already said that. How they build up, yada, yada, yada. So I want, so I'm going to include um, the obvious too, like what's already been confirmed and what hasn't been confirmed. And all in all, it's just going to be a little bit of my fantasies and what I see would be a good match card. So the first thing I'd like to mention is that John Cena versus The Rock wouldn't be a title match. It'd just be an ordinary singles match, and whoever wins that, whatever. That's what the WWE decided. Now I'm going to move up to the world title. How is that title going to be taken? Well, we know Daniel Bryan's going to be involved in that one. So, the way I see it, I want Sheamus versus Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan for the world title. Also... The WWE title will be challenged by CM Punk and versus The Miz. So, for world title, Sheamus, Randy Orton, and Daniel Bryan in a triple threat match. For WWE title, CM Punk versus The Miz. Now, one of them has to turn into a face. Or at least have both of them become tweeners. You must do one or the other. Another thing I'd like to see is... Alex Riley versus Cody Rhodes for the Intercontinental title. Because as you know, Alex Riley has been drafted to SmackDown and he hasn't done shit there. Which sucks because I think that Rhodes is going to get the mid-card title push from Ezekiel Jackson. I could imagine a good feud with them. Since both of them have similarities. Both took a move from Test. And I like to see the mic work with each other. Then there's going to be Wade Barrett versus The Undertaker. This is going to be a streak match, but it's also going to be a Buried Alive match. Because as we know, the Buried Alive wins to loss ratio with The Undertaker is pretty bad. And the win to loss ratio for The Undertaker on WrestleMania is pretty good. So it would have a nice little thrill. Plus, this would probably be Undertaker's last WrestleMania, so we'd like to see that kind of thrilling match. Is the streak finally going to end, or is he going to be undefeated forever? Then we have Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett screwed Undertaker out of his Buried Alive match with Kane, so I can understand how Undertaker might have some beef with him back when Kane. Wade Barrett was in the Nexus. Next we're gonna have Zack Ryder and Ezekiel Jackson versus Drew McIntyre and Jack Swagger. Drew McIntyre and Jack Swagger are both good fighters with horrid mic skills and I'd like to see them in a tag team since they can pull off that at the moment since there's so much going on and I'd like to see um, Zack Ryder and Ezekiel Jackson sell their differences from what happened a few weeks ago with Zack planning that candy cat match with Ezekiel Jackson versus Legacy. That would have been a good thing to, for them to just forgive each other and make a tag team and get the title. They'll compete for a WWE tag team title. And it'll be a lumberjack match. Well, what'll be next? Well, I only mentioned one, mat two matches of special rules, so I gotta move up with that. Well, we're gonna have Evan Bourne versus Alberto Del Rio, which is just gonna be a normal singles match. And part of me wants this because Evan Bourne usually has not just upsets. But upsets that go in a streak, and I like him to have that for Alberto Del Rio since he got 
squash gets squashed really badly and I want to see him pull off at least that. Next, I want John Morrison versus The Big Show. I'd like to see The Big Show turn heel or John Morrison turn heel. John Morrison's pretty creepy right now with his anger which is justified. It doesn't even, they don't even have to, it has to be a face versus heel thing. It could just be a friendly competition thing to lower down the excitement to a mid-card level. And why for the U.S. title, I know both of them really need that push, but I'd like to see them fight since their styles contrast. And John Morrison could use anything right now besides being a jobber. All right, last two matches: Mark Henry versus Kane in an Inferno match. I'd like to definitely see that. That'd be a good thing to see because one thing I enjoy is seeing Kane act more deadly, relatively more like a monster. Mark Henry right now is pretty much a monster, so give him a few months. Let's say he doesn't retire. They could have a good Inferno match to settle their feud. Finally, we will have a Divas match between Natalia and Maurice. The way I see it, it would be a pretty good matchup. So long as Maurice doesn't botch up a lot. And I don't want it to just be a simple squash match. I want it to be like Maurice does a lot of heel moves and does some good stuff too. So she steps up the game. And we see and I probably have to see Natalia do some less more creative stuff instead of just recycling the hard dynasty. Like Tyson Kidd's trying to work with that, trying to break out of the chains of being part of the hard dynasty and having the same exact move set as everyone. So all in all, that's what I want to see. I don't want another battle royal for to start off the well WrestleMania 28 bullshit. Since battle royals usually they're usually boring as hell for me, and they're just gonna be dark matches anyway. So what's the fucking point? Now, which one of these would I choose to be the dark match? I'd have to say... I'm gonna have to go with the tag team match. No, the tag team match would be good to sh slow down the pace. How about John Morrison versus The Big Show? Yeah, I could see that as becoming the dark match. The ten matches is is a good duration. What would be in between each match would be a few segments, some promos, but I also want to see some comedy. How about have Keith Stone fuck some of the divas? Or implicitly have sex with some of the divas? Trying to act all pimp. And we can also have a funny segment with one of the commentators maybe they'll get into a contest a dance off or something that'll break the redundancy for less hardcore watchers in these 10 matchups I think that'd be a good Wrestlemania match card for me I'd see it as something I'd enjoy because we have a lot of balance and not a lot of matches that seem like a waste of time aside from the upsets. Anything I should improve upon in this list, you guys should tell me. Like, maybe I should add some more extreme rules. But I don't know, I'm pretty pleased with this list. I might do a raw review tomorrow, but that's it.